Revelation 19, it's Jesus revealing Jesus. Jesus is making his royal procession into the city of Jerusalem. Marching into Jerusalem in his resurrected glory with all the saints of heaven liberating the city of Jerusalem from a oppressive siege of the kings of the nations that surround the city. Second coming is in context to war. The very dramatic story. It's a massive battle that the whole world is aware of. Now be warned. Viewer discretion advised. Graphic violence. Seriously. It's disturbing. be the day of the greatest release of justice and the day of the greatest violence in human history. It's really a violent day. We might ask, why is it so violent? Is it absolutely necessary that it's this intense? It shows us how far Jesus is willing to go for the sake of love. How far he's willing to go for the sake of justice. Here's the reason why it's so intense. That hour of history, the nations will be blaspheming God like never before. The nations will be walking in unprecedented levels of wickedness. The sin will become more intense, but the revival and the power of God among the saints will reach levels far beyond the book of Acts. The light will get lighter and the darkness will get darker. The unique dynamics are so intense a power of good and power of evil. It's a very dramatic story. He's saying to his people, you have to know, in my love, I will not stop short of anything. I am committed to cleanse the earth and fill it with love. It's a very dramatic story. His beauty will be seen in context to the wedding and the war and the combination of the two. What's remarkable is on this day of the great battle, that's the day when the beauty of Jesus will be most seen in the nation. In Isaiah 4, in that day, the branch of the Lord will be seen before all the nations as beautiful. He will be seen as glorious. Isaiah 33, you will see the King in His beauty, not just His power, His beauty. Look at Psalm 45. It's describing the day of the war. And it starts off, you are more beautiful, you are more fair than the sons of men. Grace is upon your lips. Now look at verse 3. Here's the context. Gird your sword upon your thigh. To gird the sword means to prepare to draw it for battle. When the Messiah comes to the earth for his permanent reign, he comes in context to a worldwide war. He treads the wine press of the wrath of God, where he spills blood like no time in history. It's, it's terrifying, but it's glorious, it's in result. He is going to remove all the enemies of God. Jesus is so committed to love, he's going to cleanse the planet of evil once and for all. This is how far he will go for love. We're going to see how zealous he is for love and how far he will go for love. He's doing everything for love because it's the context of his wedding. His wedding day has come. King Jesus, the warrior king. He's saying to his people, you have to know, in my love, I will not stop short of anything. I am committed to cleanse the earth and fill it with love. It's a very dramatic story.